good morning and welcome. We have two of my, well, I had you guys on recently, didn't I? <laughs> Only in the last month I've had these two separately, but now we have them together on the couch. Welcome, we have Zod and Kelly. <laughs> Kelly and Zod. Welcome, <laughs> guys. Nice to have you back. I was, uh, was looking to forward to this. Yeah. Now, I didn't even know that you two had collaborated. I think you told me, Zod, yeah, when you were yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, about a year ago, we uh, met each other. I met Kelly at my... Uh, launch of my album last year mm -hmm. and I was so blown away by her talent and the amount of inspiration that she gave me was mm. indescribable so That's I awesome. decided to work with her and we've collaborated and made magic <laughs> That's what music is though, magic. <laughs> and when you find musicians that you click with so nicely yeah, and you yeah. can create magic together, it's awesome. Yeah. And because you're both songwriters yourself, so just, and, mm -hmm. and brilliant songwriters in your own right, separately, putting that magic together is just absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So now tell me a little bit about the song that we're going to be hearing today. Okay. Well, um, when I, uh, I wrote it a few months before recording, obviously. Mm. And yeah, um, yeah, we, we, we were, I was talking to Harshan about it and he said, yeah, this is a good song, but I think we need like some collaboration to really mm -hmm. um, give it what it needs. And then, yeah. So Harshan is basically our producer, producer, the producer on my album. And uh, he came to me and he told me, uh, there's this super talented young lady and he played me uh, just a voice note of the track. Oh, yeah. he's, and he showed me the lyrics and I was so uh, enamored by the maturity in the way that as a 16 year old as she was last year <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was she blew me away in the maturity of how well she wrote a, a song about saying goodbye and realizing how you need to put yourself first mm -hmm. over other people who, who've done you wrong like I was <laughs> like <Yes>. 16 <laughs> you're writing about this so That's i was incredible. and even in my music i've always um had that mature aspect of um trying to figure out my emotions through uh mm. writing and she was so uh on point mm. with even where the song was sitting and all i had to do was just put my verse on and it was it was, a, <laughs> it was one of the best experiences of last that's year. That's so exciting. Right? So, so you're the one that started the song, Kat. Yes. Um, if, we, if you won't mind me getting into that a little bit more, what was your inspiration behind the song? Um, so I had a friend that I met prior to the song, obviously. And um, yeah, we got into a bit of a situation. Things weren't going right. Um, they, were, they, were, she, they were a very toxic person to me in my life. And I had to make the decision, even though I was still attached to this person, I had to make the decision to let her go, mm -hmm. or else it would just create more toxicity in mine and her life. Yes, it's one of those decisions, those tough decisions that we have to make in life, mm -hmm. to, to in, say goodbye, which is the title of the song. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> That's phenomenal. Now, are there any uh, plans for future collaboration? We well, it, it's it's always on the table, and uh, I'm not going to give too much away. But uh, they w we are creative. You two beings. are your secret. <laughs> <laughs> Last we time Kelly was here, I didn't actually get to hear the song until <laughs> the day off. It's like it's a secret. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we we are creative beings and always creating. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's they are they could be. A lot of projects it could be none but mm, we are now yeah, yeah yeah we're living every day as the artists that we claim to be so mm. uh, the magic is in the moment yes and yes. that is the the greatest philosophy of being an artist that yes there is art in everything that we do yes and in every every interaction today we could have Coming here and speaking to you could inspire us to write something. Yes, an inspiration something. hits as yeah. a songwriter and it could turn <laughs> into something incredible. Oh, that's so fantastic. Now, in terms of, while I've got you both here, I know I've spoken to you recently, but a lot can change in the span of a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Is anything interesting happening or anything that you'd like to work towards or anything that we should be watching out for? Well, I've got a showcase 
um, in November the 24th. Oh, yeah, it's, tell me more. Yeah, we, my vocal coach puts one on every year to help uh, bring our confidence in new artists yes. that she's um, brought into her school. And yeah, we... Where is this happening? I'm not sure yet, but like when Give I... Give me the details. No. <laughs> I'll add it to my weekend vibes. We always like to talk about the music that's happening in this area mm -hmm. so that people can actually get out there and support. Yeah. That's phenomenal. So please keep us up I to will. date on that one. That sounds like so much fun. What about you, Zod? Oh, I have... I have a lot, lots of artistic things planned. It may not mm. be music, but uh, I've been really trying to take huge leaps in the art aspect of my music, uh, be it my fashion, be it my um, uh, online presence, my uh, photography. Mm. I've been trying to really overhaul how I think about my mm. artistry. Because it's more than just the music, it's the yeah, whole package and yeah, the image. Yeah, exactly, and exactly. And I, I, I have so much of passion with uh, fashion design and uh, getting uh, my personal ideologies expressed through the way I dress and uh, through the way I carry myself and the art that I make. So I've been mm. trying to design uh, outfits and stuff for more than just myself. Mm. And uh, That's exciting. Even through, uh, yeah, I've been, re uh, the last time I was here, I told you the importance of collaboration. Yes. And and here Kelly. we are. <laughs> 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 oh, because that Magic is, is happening. Yeah, yeah. And uh, always, uh, we are all like, you know, get a bit scientific. We're all like charged particles. You know, when yes. we collide, you don't know what we could make in that yes. small well, I instance. Hope, I hope to see you two collaborating again soon. Because yeah, yeah. we already yeah, made Magic once. <laughs> to happen again. So everyone, please stick around to the end of the show. We're actually going to get to here the song that you, we have been discussing, a lovely song called Goodbye, which is phenomenal. You've heard the inspiration behind it. So feel it, guys. Come on. <laughs> feel it. <laughs> feel it. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Now, thank you guys so much for coming in. And thank I hope to fabulous. see you again soon. So now, before I leave you, I need to talk a little bit about what's happening in the coming weekend. So moving on to my weekend vibes. So on Friday, uh, today is Friday. Good Lord. Already. Can we even believe the week has gone so fast? So we have hops. If you're in the hops direction, Johnny will be there at 6 p.m. If you're in Yami, Esther Nord will be back at 6.30. If you're in the Durban direction at Bootleggers, we have the very talented Josh at 7 p.m. Uh, at St. Beauty Country Club, we have Carmen Rodriguez. Can't help but say that one with a bit of flair. <laughs> then locally at Caribou, we have Don Seagreen at 6 p.m. Moving on to tomorrow. If you're back in Hops again, we have Eleanor at 6 p.m., the Ono Cafe Westville direction. Uh, Josh will be on at 1 p.m. Then back here at Caribou, we will have Ricky Red at 1. Then on to Sunday, fun day at Hops. Uh, my darling friend James will be at 3 p.m. Then happening at Soul Sunday Sessions at Crusaders Club, one of the best places you can go for genuine live entertainment with a captivated audience that can appreciate that stuff. We will have Cheryl and Nick, Rook and Jaden, and ending off will be the EC Bas Basement Blues band got there eventually this all kicks off at around 1 30 and it is free entrance then moving on at the stokes arms we have josh at 1 p.m then locally at caribou we have paolo de barons at 12 and at the oven and barrel we have kate Fanzel at 1 p.m now last week i did speak about this this is an event that's happening at the very end of the month this is bark Backyard Bay. Yo, this isn't working for me today. Backyard Bay, uh, at the, I think it's the 30th of October, they have their launch. It's such an epic venue. You're absolutely going to love it. Between the shaping of the surfboards, the music, the recording studio, my favorite place to be, and then um, also the skate park, and there's going to be food, there's going to be live music. It's all going to be happening there, guys, and we will actually be there. Um, a few of us from Belisa TV will be there as well. So thank you so much, and also a huge thank you to my sponsors as always. Um, and I will see you next week. But stick around. We have an air break coming up, a little bit more just the content coming up after this.